Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so today I am playing with a couple of Halo looks, and I'm actually doing a modified Halo eye, but it's um, it's a look that I've I want to see which color combinations actually work best with this uh, particular eyeshadow technique and so it's really more of a modified halo eye. Uh, what I'm doing is using the same colors on the inside and the outside of the eye and then using a color for the middle uh, right in the middle but instead of stopping right about here which is what most halo eyes do I'm taking it all the way up to the brow and I'm having the middle color come out quite a lot. So I'm actually doing a big version of the halo eye and so I thought we'd go ahead and get started. Um, as far as what I have on for base, I have the Elf uh, Halo Glow and Fair One and then the Super Servant the Super Serum by Relove Revolution. This one's an F2. So that's what I have on for my base. I did use some of the L'Oreal uh, concealer as well. For our bronzer, this is the NYX. Uh, the Butter Buttermilk Bronzer, I have mine in Buttercup. This is actually the lightest shade. And so on me, here we go, turns into a peachy kind of color there. And then as far as what I did for the blush, I went ahead and used the e.l.f. and this is one of their Corley colors. I'll have it listed down below. And it's one of the e.l.f. liquid blushes. did go ahead and use the Hard Candy Trefoils um, highlighter. This one was part of the Girl Scout collection from Hard Candy. As far as the lip gloss, this is from Dollar Tree, and what Dollar Tree has done lately is they've gone ahead and done dupes of the vinyl, um, the Maybelline vinyl colors, and so they have a lipstick and a lip gloss, and today I have one of the lip glosses on. The company that does this is called B, BI, and um, so you can find these over at the Dollar Tree. From what I've been able to find, they basically give each Dollar Tree store a lipstick and a lip gloss. So if you want to find different colors, you have to go to different Dollar Trees, or at least that's what they're doing in my area. What I thought I'd do is go ahead and put a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. This is a little bit of glitter on top. So there's a way that these two look together, but um, yeah, the glosses and the ones with the white caps are the glosses. These ones are the lipsticks. These have a lot of color and a lot of moisture. These are going to be drier. They're lipstick, um, but I'm really liking them. And then I did use a little bit of the Molten Peach by Maybelline as far as a little bit of a highlighter. So I did actually go ahead and mix these two. Whoop, stuff has fallen already. And um, as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyeshadow, Smoking Hot by ColourPop. And so I wanted to start with a couple of warm looks, and uh, Smoking Hot definitely has warm looks. And excuse me, I have a pan that doesn't want to stay in the. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on. There we go. Oh, now I have. Yeah. I have a shadow pan that um, decides that it's fun to run around. And um, so um, I did go ahead and use a mix of this color and uh, this color on the outer brow, or on the outside, so I used it on the outer corner and on the inner corner. And then right in the middle of the lid, I went ahead and it's mostly this shimmer right here. And then right at the very top, I put a little bit of this shimmer as well. And so, um, let's see, I did go ahead and use 
this one as far as my eyeliner. This is the way that the look came out. And this gives you really, really dark, smoky, smoking hot look. So uh, this is the first one. And um, I'm actually not going to change my base products. I'm going to go ahead and keep them the same for uh, most of the looks. But I will be right back with uh, one more look. Well, actually, we'll probably do about five. Um, Halo Eye. And um, so with this one, I went ahead and did a combination of purple and pink. It turned out a little, I thought it would go a little bit more pink, and it ended up going a little bit more purple. Um, I had the same base and everything on. I added a little bit of the Rare Beauty Hope. And so that's what I went ahead and added onto the cheeks. And then uh, one of the dollar store lip glosses. So that's what I have on there. As far as a halo eye, I went ahead and used Juvia's Place, the candy shop. And so what I did here was I went ahead and used this color both on the inner corner and the outer corner. And then I went ahead and used this color down here right in the middle of the eye. And this one is the pink pink. And this one is more of a purple duochrome kind of, yeah, it's purple to gold, I think, pretty much. And so it's actually, you know what, I think I want to add a little bit more mascara here. Uh, this is the Call Me Queen by Essence. I'll add a little bit more of that. I thought I had enough left on, but it doesn't quite look like it. So this the way that the pink purple one came out. And yeah, I think it looks a lot less intense than the other one did. And some of that, again, are the colors. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty. It's um, it, the more intense the colors are, the yeah. Let's go ahead and try another one. I'm not sure. I really am not. Let's try another one. I'll be right back. Hi, it's Adrian back again and um, still with the same base on. What I went ahead and added was uh, a little bit of, again, uh, the lip gloss. And this is from BI over at um, Dollar Tree. And then the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. So that's what I have on there. I didn't change anything as far as the cheeks go for this one. But as far as the eyes and the halo look that I did this time, used uh, Wildwood by Alter Ego. And this, <laughs> love the packaging on this, just so pretty. Um, this is actually an inspired palette. That's what Alter Ego does. You can get them on uh, their website. This is inspired by the Natasha Denona uh, Yucca palette. And what I did was I went ahead and used the gray shimmer here on the inner corner and the outer corner, and then the green over on the corner as far as what's right in the middle of the lid. I also went ahead and used gray as the eyeliner under the lid. And let's see, I did try to put myself in the eye with the mascara, which again is the Call Me Queen. And so this way that the eye look, came out. And I think that it actually went a lot cooler than I thought that it would. Um, didn't think that the gray color here had as much pigment in it as it does, but it actually went pretty cool. So yeah, you could um, definitely go ahead and uh, pair this with some really cool colors. So. Um, it's pretty though but it's really a, it's more of a mix between warm and cool because of the color of green so yeah it it I think it definitely works it just yeah it's definitely more of a mixture of the two 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get a new base on to go ahead and do the cooler uh, colors, the cooler halo eye colors. And for you, it'll be just a second. For me, it'll be a little while. So I'll be back in a moment. Hi, it's Adrian back and uh, with the cooler halo eye look on there. And uh, looks like I put a lot of makeup on. I actually didn't. If you get the right formula from the right company, then you can get a shine that looks like this without building it up forever and ever. And so I guess we'll get started. I did change my base from the last time. So I did start off with the Hard Candy. Um, this is their Glow Serum. It does, um, it adds a little bit of a bronze, but not much. And it does smell like candy, which actually I like a lot. And then I did go ahead and use the About Face. And um, so this is, I think this is their F2 color. And so it's one of their uh, cooler colors. So that's what I went ahead and did there. I did the Elf Blush and Moth. And then I did go ahead and use Flower Beauty. This is their Heat Wave uh, Bronzer and Sunrise. So that's what I had on there. Um, as far as the lips, I went ahead and used the Oma's. Um, it's complicated. And then I did go ahead and use the Hard Candy uh, sun Sunkissed Gloss on top of it. So that's the way that that turned out. And then as far as the eyeliner, which is actually on there, the Emride, and I used their green eyeliner. As far as what I did for the eyes, um, went ahead and used Glam Light. And so Glam Light, the Scooby-Doo palette, this is a ruggy. And so um, it's a really good palette. I didn't ever find a use for this dark green color, but I have now. And um, I have the dark green on the outside and then on the inside corner. And that would be this one here. And then I went ahead and put this uh, really pretty, and it's more of a lime green, uh, right in the middle for the halo eye effect. And so this way that the look came out. And like I said, I didn't put a lot of makeup on. It's just that this formula is um, so good that you can just literally do one pass and get a look like this. So if you need to get some theatrical makeup or you want something that's really going to stand out for the club or for Halloween, this would probably be one of those palettes that you might want to go ahead and pick up. Again, uh, Glam Light's available on their website. And what I thought I'd do with this particular look, since it's so over the top, was to see if we could actually take it down to where it's sort of wearable. And, um, but at least, you know, got to see what it looks like in full. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's full glory there. And, um, Let's go ahead. Uh, this is one of those microfiber cloths. They tend to take off makeup really well. I have mine just dampened. And um, this is one of those where you can use it with a cleanser, but you don't have to because of all the microfibers. And I'm just going to be taking off the top um, right, the, right under the brow. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that off. and take it down a little bit and see if it's wearable for maybe an everyday look or, you know. So, Okay, so this is the look, and again, I took off, mm, yeah, maybe a little bit more here. So, there we go. Here it is. 
So that makes it a little bit more wearable. And um, yeah, you could probably get by with it. It would still, it's still a bold look, but it's not nearly as, um, as uh, it doesn't take over as much as it did, but it's still really bold. And so, yeah, I think it's really pretty. And um, if you have something that you want a really bold green look for, it would definitely work. And um, I'll be back with another one in just a moment here. Hi, it's Adrian back again with another Halo Eye. And this time I did add in a little bit of the color pop out of quartz uh, right on the top of the cheekbone and then added in some more of the Flex Satyrian. And those were the only two touch-ups I did. I did go ahead and use the Sydney Grace Times Tintalia. This is their light. Um, it's one of the palettes. I came out with three different color stories, and this is the light in one of those color stories. So this is the palette that I went ahead and used. On the um, inner corner of the eye and the outer corner of the eye, I went ahead and blended this um, pretty purple with the, this one and so that's what I have on there and then I did go ahead and use the pink as a um, middle part of the halo eye and I think it turned out really pretty. I also used an Imrite um, eyeliner right under the eye and then again the Call Me Queen as far as the mascara. As far as the way the eye look came out, came out kind of like that. And so that's sort of where that one ended up. And so, yeah, I think um, as far as wearable, this one turned out to be the easiest or the most wearable of the group. And I think that's just because we're all used to seeing when people wear purple eyeshadow for it to really pop. And so I think that's kind of the reason why that worked. Um, but I think it's really pretty, and I'll be back with another one in just a moment here. Okay, so it's Adrian back again, and this one actually, this halo eye turned out to be more neutral than I thought it was going to go. So, um, yeah, with this one I went ahead and used the Essence Sin City palette, and um, it actually ended up being uh, more well, I used uh, this color down here, and this is going to be a brown and rose color, and it's a duochrome. All of these are shimmers, and so I went ahead and used that on the outer corner and on the inner corner, and then I used a combination of um, this peach and this gold, and I went ahead and used that right on the middle of the eye. And for some reason, this particular combination came out more neutral than the other combinations that I've done. And then I did use a ColourPop um, eyeliner to go ahead and go with it. And again, the um, Call Me Queen, as far as these go, is the way that the eye look came out was kind of like this. And again, pretty. Definitely uh, more of a neutral look than I thought that it was going to go, but um, yeah, it has some sparkle to it, and um, so yeah, I think it turned out pretty. Um, I did touch up the out of quartz as far as the highlighter here, but other than that, that's all I've done, and um, I'll be back with one more here, and it'll be just a moment. Okay. Adrian back again with uh, the last one and I actually have all of the same uh, base on again. I just touched up the Out of Quartz by ColourPop and I also added in some Flexitarian um, right along the cheekbones and so uh, that's what I went ahead and did there. As far as what I have on the eyes, I went ahead and got out the ColourPop Twilight palette and again really pretty packaging it's one of my favorite palettes of this year and so what i did um, again the halo eye on the outer corner and the inner corner um, i did a combination of uh, this color this glitter and this color uh, as well and this even though it comes off as gray it's a uh, blue gray 
And so again, I used this one, this one, and this one on the outer corner. And then on the inner, or right in the middle of the eye, excuse me, um, I went ahead and used this one. And then this one is a glitter as well. And so it's a white glitter. Uh, this one is a duochrome and it goes white into green. So uh, that's what I went ahead and did as far as the eye. I did use one of the ColourPop multi-chrome eyeliners as well. And so uh, Twilight is one of my favorite palettes from this year. I think it turned out really, really well. This is the way the eye look came out. And as far as the eye looks, I think they came out to be really eye-catching. I didn't really realize that halo eyes really pop that much, but they actually do. Um, I think I'm going to take this one down a little bit because I'm going to go ahead and wear it for the day. So again, this way that it looks going all the way up to the brow. And I'm going to take it down a little bit for the rest of the day because I'm not doing anything that requires a really glam look today. In fact, I think probably laundry is going to be the most exciting part of my day today. So, just that. To go ahead and see what this one particular eye look looks like with a whole bunch of different colors. And um, I think it'll probably help me out in making decisions on what kind of eye looks I want to go ahead and do, especially for glam, because I think with glam looks, we don't ever really practice them. We sort of put it off and sort of uh, wait until the last minute and as we're walking out the door. And a lot of times, not a lot of times, but you know, if you're doing things in a rush, you sit back later and you think, well, I could have done that or I could have done that. And this will give you some ideas. So next time you want to go ahead and do a glam look, um, you'll have, you know, a whole reference of different looks. And um, definitely, I think that if you want to do a glam look, uh, Halo Eye is a really good way to do it. Uh, this way, when you go all the way up to the brow, it really creates more of an impact and more of a pop. And again, taking it down some just makes it, it, it fades into um, the inner part of your eyelid rather than just sort of pushing outwards. But I think they all turned out uh, fun and exciting, and definitely some of them went other ways than I thought they were going to go. And again, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.